But I think for this time of Romania's history, Romania needs a president that can really unify Romanians, give them a sense of purpose, uh, catalyze a national project that we are still missing in this country after 20 years of reforms and various uh, influences of various models of capitalism. I think there is a, a problem with the approach on uh, the fight against corruption in this country because if you look at the last five years and the current president has put this uh, uh, in a normal way, uh, this topic very high on his agenda. Romania is now dead last uh, in Europe uh, and being perceived by Transparency International as being the most corrupt country in Europe, which is something which is absolutely devastating for the reputation and also for the attraction of Romania to, to foreign business. And of course, not to speak of the disgust of our citizens towards uh, such a situation. Romania, it's, in, it's, a, it's a dramatic political crisis. It's in a dramatic economic downturn. So we need stability. I need to form stable majorities. And if the price of, for stability in Romania is a, a tactical sacrifice from my side, the largest party in this coalition, that normally should have had the prime minister, I'm ready to make that sacrifice.